want to make a, give a big thanks to all of you guys for supporting me. Uh, I can't thank you enough. I say it every day, but truly uh, grateful. I'm, I'm enjoying this more and more. Every day I do this, I'm so much more passionate. I don't know what, what's clicked with me this past week, but I've just had this huge wave of... Uh, just this huge wave of energy to keep doing these videos, to keep teaching. Uh, so really, sincerely, thank you all. I uh, can't tell you how much it all means, everyone. You, you all really mean a lot to me, and the support's amazing. The comments, the feedback. I've been getting comments from people across the world. Uh, people have been telling me things like, I could never draw until I saw your videos. Uh, so, oh my gosh, I can't even express my thanks. It makes me feel good, like I'm truly am teaching good, and uh, I, can't, I can't even tell you how grateful I am. So thank you all sincerely, and I'm going to keep doing this, and let's get started on this one. So Cartman from the Stick of Truth. Oh yeah, baby! This is going to be fun. Someone requested Cartman before, and then I figured, oh my gosh, the game just came out, so this will be a perfect time to draw this. And real quick advisory, uh, if you are younger than the adult age, for the game or whatever. Do not, please do not watch the gameplay footage. Do not, uh, you know, don't, you know, South Park in general is for mature audiences. So, so don't watch the show unless you are an adult. That's just, uh, you know, because I know a lot of younger people uh, watch the video. So I don't, I don't want to, I just want to express that, that, you know, this drawing is nothing bad with the drawing. It's just a character. But, you know, I just want to give the heads up there. Uh, so let's start this. So for something like this, uh, you're gonna start with the basic circle. He's got it's not even a circle. It's almost like a a fat egg, cause it's a fat egg, and it's not. It doesn't get skinnier towards the end. It kind of stays this whole round shape. And something I was thinking about earlier today. When it comes to drawing, uh, you probably all have heard this phrase before, uh, form follows function, or I think it's form follows function, it might be the other way around. See, so just like, almost like an egg, but notice the ends aren't pinched down, they're kind of fat, even a little wider even, they should be. But uh, what I was saying is, Form follows function, what I'm getting at is that's actually, you know, it's an architectural term for designing things, but you know you can apply it to drawing. Uh, and what that means is, in my opinion, when you're doing a drawing, always remember what you're drawing. What what's your purpose of the drawing? Is it uh, supposed to be ev is it supposed to be dark? Is it supposed to be action-y? Is it supposed to be cartoony, comic-y? And for this example, you know, it's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be you know these drawings are crude. They're they're crude. They have big eyes. They're just very, uh, like I said again, crude drawings. And the, the idea is because the form and the and the function of it is to make you laugh. It's uh, you know it's a it's a show that does that. And uh, it's that's just kind of a thought to go into when you're drawing is to keep that in mind. You know what uh, what you're wanting to express with your drawing because. You know, like for example, a lot of times if, if you do watch shows on Cartoon Network or like especially Adult Swim, they have a lot of bizarre shows, but the idea is with the drawings, you know, that's that's their goal. They're trying to express that. So for the body, notice how big the head is. The head is huge. And the body is very, very short. See, it's not even like, see how wide the head is? The body's not even as long as the head. But that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing it. All I'm doing is these little, little basic lines to get my forms in. And see how easy it is once you kind of get the knack of it? So basically all I'm doing is uh, measuring points. You know, it's, this really is kind of a simplistic drawing in terms of uh, it's kind of flat, you know, there's not a lot of three-dimensional aspects. Let's see here where the hand is. I'm just roughly sketching where the thumb would be. Uh, but all I'm doing right now is measuring points. Notice, like I said, I started with the head, and then, I, you know, th and this is what you do as you, as you progress in drawing. You use the head shape as a measurement for the rest of the body. 
And like I said before, for this case, you know, the head is longer than the body. The body is extremely short. And so then, right here I'm just drawing the line where the stick, the little staff comes up. It's like a little wizard. I'm not going to put much detail into it now. Just What I'm doing is like capturing basic forms, like what we've been doing, rough gesture. Now I highly recommend, please watch the like videos. Uh, all those like videos, they will help you. There's a lot of them that deal with gesture. If you're not familiar with gesture drawings, get used to it. Uh, really start, really start trying to draw more gesturally. Where and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of making loose lines, nothing final yet. Just kind of placing things. You know. So it's looking, and, and like I always say again and again, I reiterate this so much. I'm looking at a reference, but of course. I'm not copying it line for nine. I'm not. Co I don't expect it to be exact photocopy, and that's that's the fun of drawing. If everything's a photocopy, then it leaves it leaves your artistic expression. It leaves your own style out of it, and that's and that's that's something I'm trying to get through the the videos. Is you want to have your own kind of flow. You want to have your own feeling. You want to express that it is a drawing, and it's not just a computerized image, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and stuff. Oh, that's that's something I hope that makes sense a lot. And honestly, something like this should take, you know, a very short amount of time. Uh, and like I say, I'm just, I'm really, I'm going very slow just so I can really teach you all better, you know, because I, I get a lot of ideas when I'm drawing. Then the hat just kind of ripples around. And it kind of has a little space in the back. And notice that this little wizard hat. It's very tall. It's honestly as long as this whole body is. So see how long that is? You can make a little mark. You can, you can make it a little longer if you want shorter. But just keeping it close enough. You can even exaggerate this a little more. I hope that makes sense. I really hope the tips help. I uh, try to do lots of tips. Let's see, I'm just making a little staff thing. See how it kind of extended that and then it comes down. And the eyes, you can make a guideline if you want. They sit like right in the middle. And they're huge. That's the big thing. They're huge. And they tilt inwards. That's something to note. They tilt inwards. See how they kind of come in? And the heart comes down. There's these two little eyebrows. And we're going to go back and really add the detail with two. I'm telling you, drawing, this past week or so, I've just been loving drawing, like, more and more, because uh, the more I draw, the more I see things, the more I change, the more, and the more you'll change, too, and just, it's just unbelievable. And see, see how you got that little face in there? So basically, you got your rough sketch, so now you can really finish it up here. Uh, like the hand... Really doesn't have any fingers, it's just like a little glove shape. But the focus really is on the head. I mean, it is huge. Don't don't always keep that in mind. It is a huge mass. So I'm gonna outline the face first. And being that it is a drawing, I'm gonna make the line around the face very, very uh, thick. Just that way you can get an idea. That way it kind of shows the mass better. So like that. 
And see, uh, like see what I'm just doing here? I'm just outlining that, and then like behind it, there's a little row. I'm gonna start with the things on the f coming towards us first. It'll just be easier. But see how this hand? There, re there really isn't any marks. It's just all an outline, all one contour line. See how that looks? And you always gotta keep this in mind: what the style is you're drawing, what what it is you're drawing, because. I say, and then the little rope kind of comes in. And it comes down. See how I'm making these real nice lines? That kind of comes in. This is dark, so you can already darken that in. And I love drawing because with drawing, it, it just there's something so magical to me. Uh, seeing any type of character, even this character, honestly, there's something so magical to me about forming something out of pencil and paper, you know, because uh, I just love the way lines look. I love how you get these dark effects uh, just from pencil marks. To me, it just really, really looks beautiful, no matter what you're drawing with the pencil. It's, it's beautiful if you understand how to use the values and what you're doing is what I mean. Uh, you know, you got to get used to that. Let's see how those little arms here. And it's just one straight line. Oh, yes, yes! It's looking like, oh, yeah, baby! This is always my favorite part. And then like this. See how it just comes in. See how the line, oh, do you see how? And this is what I've been stressing for months and months now. See how I always started with was just basic shapes, uh, basic lines, and all I'm doing is kind of coming back in doing the details, you know, kind of the second thing over. I'm going to worry about erasing a little bit. You see what I mean? And you can add a little darker here. And like, oh, there he has another little pen. See what I'm saying here? See what I'm saying? And like this, the cloak. But say all I'm doing is now it's just a matter of rendering it, uh, you know. That, that's that's why I really do recommend search Jester John's uh, search online. The basic point I'm getting at that I've always been getting at too is uh, I'm, I'm so sorry if I talk a lot. I, I know I do talk a lot. It's just it's it's so it means a lot to me being able to teach on here, and I really want to. I really want to teach you guys good and really help you all. Uh, but the point I'm getting at is, you can see even with the South Park drawing, uh, even with something that seems very simple, very very simple in terms of what it is and stuff, you still have to keep in mind uh, your basic your basic principles of drawing, which is. You know, you still want to start with your proportions. You want to get your basic geometry set up. You want to do a rough draft. You know, you want to do all the things we've been teaching, and you'll be shocked how much easier it makes it. Because, like, like I said, honestly, uh, trying to think here. Like, honestly, if I wanted to do this, I could do it. You know within you know five minutes or so or whatever but it's that's not my goal my goal here is to teach so let me see just the bottom line real straightforward kind of eye on the bottom and always keep checking your drawing see how it's looking now guys and you have this the cape where it comes out you see part of the cape I want to play this game so bad. My friend at work, he's been telling me all about it. I've been dying to play it. It really seems hysterical. Since see over here, how it just comes up. And you can make it kind of come out here. Just want to make your lines look good. See like that? Let's work on the face a little more here. You got the little frowny. You can even make it a little skinnier. 
on his chin. Notice how these lines, they don't, they kind of have an angle to them. Notice how they go up, up, down. They're not one all straight line. That's something to keep in there. Uh, let's draw the staff coming up. Basically, you can notice how there's little curves throughout it. You don't want it to be completely. You don't want it to be completely straight. That's it's like that. Let me make sure the camera's on there. Right. Let's see how the top goes. See? So it's looking. And the hat, the magic hat, I love his little hat. I'm really, really relaxed right now. I mean, normally I'd be screaming and stuff, but I just, like I said, I've been really relaxed lately when it comes to drawing. I've just, it's been very therapeutic, I guess you could say. It's, uh, I'm just, I'm learning so much, and I'm doing so many different techniques and things. Let's see how this little line comes down. I'm not falling exactly, but see how, just make sure it's not a straight line. It's kind of got that curve uh, there. And let me just finish up a few more. Yeah, we're drawing some very relaxing. That's, that's what I love about it. That's why I recommend people start it more. Here you can put, I'm going to make it dark here. This is the hat. See what I'm doing? And take a note, if you are looking at the, very important, if you are looking at the original image while you're drawing it, look how, and this is what I mean, uh, you want to capture likeness, you don't want to copy things. See in this area, if you look at the original image, this will be a lot wider spaced. And that's no big deal, because it still looks good. It's just, it's just a matter of how the original image looks, and that's, that's why I want you all to get in the habit of not copying it line for line, not copying it, but to simply do it in your own way, be free, and look how loose it looks, and you'll be surprised how much you learn when you, when you merely use the reference as a guide and not as a strict map that you have to follow. Uh, then the eyes, make sure they're huge. See how big they are? They take up like a majority of the face. I could even make them bigger maybe. But also make sure they don't merge into each other. That's very important. In other words, that's the only part right here is the only part that touches. Let's see how the eyes look. And two little dots, these little dots. Very, very tiny. And of course it's not Cartman without his being little eyes. See these little eyebrows that come down? Now it's Cartman. Once you add that, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. You disrespect my authority. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, baby. See what those little lines do there? You can make it come on there. See that? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, crap. I think my camera stopped recording for some damn reason. This is horrible. I don't know where I left off. My camera stopped recording. But basically, uh, I'm so sorry, guys. This is horrible. Let me check it's recording, freaking camera. But all I did was I just made the eyebrows. And I was saying, though, it's not Eric Cartman. We touched those big little eyebrows. You always look me. It disrespect my authority. I'm not fat, I'm big boned. But see, all I did was make this line, and notice how I just made a squiggle. Oh uh, man, this sucks, it wasn't freaking recording. But something I uh, made a point about when I was recording it. Uh, notice in this area, if you're looking at the reference, uh, the actual photo, it's actually wider in this area. And the, the point is, you know, you want to get used to just drawing and sketching. You don't, you don't want to 
copy it line for line. You don't want to use it as a map where you're jotting things down exact. So kind of keep that in mind. Just do what you're drawing and uh, get these lines. But this sucks, man. I had such a good thing. All I did is come in and do the lines, little two pupils, and put a line there. I'm trying to think if I did anything else so I recorded. And uh, then I just drew the little pouch in, just a little sketch, see his little marks. But this little thing gets wider, so kind of play around with the width of this rope. It's got a line throughout. It's got a line that kind of breaks into two different lines. And the bottom. There's a line here where it comes down. And this all has a different value. So it's just kind of forming now. And I'm going to do the eraser now with the feet, you know, very. It's like little penguin feet. You barely even see the feet, honestly. But you want to make the line at least. Make it about. I'm making it a little bigger here. Just a little. Just a line here, just to suggest there is a foot under there. Now feel free, whatever you like. And it sucks and also I can't remember if I did the hat while I was drawing but the hat notice how I'm just making these kind of lines doing my own little artistic style in terms of the the way it's going but here's the fun part and this is always the part is the erasing once you start to erase things that's where you'll be absolutely blown away uh, like I'm not even joking every time I come back and erase and here's the thing you don't have to do this uh, there's so many ways you can approach a drawing. You know, some people they never erase. Some people they just leave it, they put their lines on, they get it, and then they work with different values, you know. But for me, and, and that's why I'm trying to teach you guys, there's no really wrong or right way. It's just a preference thing. But for me, lately, I love uh, to do it like this. I just love to draw it in, get my outlines, or my sketch lines, my gesture lines, and go over it. And the reason I'm enjoying doing it this way is because... Uh, mainly because I love to see what it looks like after I erase the lines. It's just, just to me, it's a satisfactory feeling. Like, oh my gosh, uh, it's just a really cool feeling. Once you clean up the lines, what's underneath? It's like, oh my gosh, uh, it really is coming along here. So that's kind of the the thought behind that. But you don't have to. Well, there, see the difference it's making? Just by erasing? So, really? What you got left now? Watch this. See? Oh, yeah, baby! I always loved this part. So, all you got left is a little hat. See the difference? So for the hat, he's got this little star. I love the hat. I'm going to start with the little cord. Little yellow cord that comes along. Just kind of sits all around. See? See this line? Like that, and the hat's got like shading. It's got like a little, it's a good little shadow that comes in. Kind of just see these little shadows. That's something you'll get more familiar with this shading and value. 
let's see these shadows and for shadows like these you know you can just put an outline and then shade it let's see there's a little crease there and basically I want to focus on the star the star is big uh, once again you'll get used to looking at proportions but see how big the eyes are and I might even make the eyes a little bigger actually on my when I re-edit this but the star is about as big as that and the best way to draw this star be a line like that and then to very carefully and stars are hard in my opinion very carefully make it like this see how I'm just going at it and the reason I put the center line is because this line connects to that and it's, it's kind of a very very helpful way it's got a funny look to the star. It's not like a perfect look. But then within it is a smiley face. See that? I'm going to make it fatter on the edges. See how I'm kind of fattening it up? Just like little Pac-Man here. See how I'm making those lines so it's like... I want it to look goofy. I don't want it to be like a perfect thing. But see what I'm saying here? And then little stitches. And then all you got is these little stitches. See? And really, you know, that's, that's about the finished drawing. Oh, I love it! I love it, baby! I love to draw, baby! I just, I'm telling you, I love drawing different characters because every time you draw, you just, there's nothing quite as good as when you, when you finish what you drew and you're like, oh my gosh, it actually looks like them. Uh, really cool. But there you go, everyone. All I'm going to go back in, I'm going to shade this area, finish it up, fine tune the erase some lines with Eric Cartman from the Stick of Truth, baby. Thanks, everyone.